historical Notre Dame Stadium, the place to be for this college football battle. This is a great day for football, and we're anxious to get this game underway between the Michigan State Spartans and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. I'm Brad Nessler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit, and let me tell you, this has been a non-stop hard-hitting football season so far early in the year, and we hope to continue that as the season goes on. Lee Corso, does this game look too close to call to you? I think both teams are evenly matched. Let me tell you something, my friend. Michigan State is not coming in this ball game with doing anything fancy and have anything fancy up their sleeves. If I were them, I'd run and play smash mouth football until my opponent throws everything he's got at me, and then I'd beat him deep with a pass. That's what they're going to do, my friend Kirk. Mark it down on your calendar. Wow, this is a tough, tough game to call, but there is one guy I really like out there. Notre Dame is led by their very talented running back, and when you talk about qualities you want in a running back, you think of speed, quickness, and maybe good hands. This guy has all those things, but he also has something else. Desire. The sheer will and determination of this guy is the biggest strength that he has. And I think that will be the difference in what propels his team to a victory in this one, Brad. We're hoping for a great game. Guys, let's get down on the field. The team captains are ready for the coin toss. Notre Dame has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Number two, deep to receive. Number 13 kicks it off. Number 23 fields it in the end zone. Ball on the 21-yard line. The Fighting Irish bring in their dime package. Back to pass. And they got it. Loss of seven. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on their own 13. Number eight is a deep back as they line up in the eye. Back to throw. He's looking for his man. Couldn't haul it in. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Ball on the 13-yard line. Notre Dame comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He drops back. Heaves a long one down the middle. He's got the first. And he's taken down at the 33. It's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, what a hit. That'll be a two-yard gain. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. The Spartans come out in the ace formation. Jake's on the tackle. Number 30 brings him down at the 23-yard line. They had a tough time bringing him down. Well, he's running really hard right now, Brad, but how about the offensive line? They have their heads on a swivel, and they're looking to knock anyone down in their path. It's first and 10. The Fighting Irish come out in a 4-3. Number nine running the option. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Nothing gained on the play. Ball on the 24, second and 10. Michigan State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Back to throw. Throws it out there. Complete, and it's complete for the touchdown. Coach, what can you say about that? All I can say is, that was a nice call. The quarterback saw the hole in the defense, and that's a touchdown, folks.
hits the PAT. Michigan State to kick this one off. He kicks it. Number six fields it in the end zone. First and ten. Defense lines up in a 3-4. He drops back. And they get the sack. Now it's seven yards to go. Ball on their own 22. Number zero, the return man. He passes it. Number 15 drops it. They turn it over on down. You know, going for it sort of tells the other team that you don't have enough faith in your special team unit. It's first and ten. Notre Dame comes out in a 3-4. He drops back. He lets it go deep down the middle. And it's incomplete. Man, he had to get rid of that ball in a hurry. You know, it seems like he's allowing the defense right now to control him by throwing bad passes under pressure. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Notre Dame comes out in a 4-3. First down. And he gets the touchdown. Nice little scamper, guys. Fred, this is a big-time run by the running back. And this guy has to be one happy individual right now. And that one's worth another look. Tacks on the extra point. Michigan State lines up for the kickoff. Number 14 kicks it off. Number six fields it in the end zone. The kickoff is down for Ball on the 21. First and 10. The Spartans line up in a 4 3. They blitz it. He's looking for his man. It falls incomplete. And he just let that one slip out of his hand. Oh, he can't take his eyes off the ball. It looks like that's what happened. Ball on the 21. It's second down and 10 to go. The Spartans line up in a 3-4. Running the option. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. So he picked up a few yards before they brought him down. You know, it wasn't a huge game, but if they can continue to do that, they'll force the defense to respect that run. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 27. 
Notre Dame comes out with an eye formation. Number 22 gets it taught. Number 54 brings him down for a loss. Didn't get anything. It's fourth down and three yards to go. Number 82, back to return it. He gets it off. Number 82, fields it at the 24. It's first and 10. They use four linebackers. Drops back to pass. Number 30 comes away with a sack. That's a loss of about five. Ball on their own 18. Michigan State lines up in the ace set. Back to pass. Throws it out there. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He had it, but he couldn't hang on to it. You know, there's really no excuse for that either. He needs to make that catch, Coach. I agree 100% with you. Ball on the 18. The Fighting Irish line up with six defensive backs. Drops back to pass. He throws it. And it's caught. He finally goes down at the 35-yard line. That one was nearly overthrown. Boy, the receiver makes a great play by putting his hands up. He had enough vertical leap to get his hands on it. Ball on the 35-yard line. It's first and 10. Michigan State sets up in the eye. Drops back to pass. Let's it go. Number 83 makes the catch. That'll be a gain of five. Number 83. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. Michigan State 14. Notre Dame nothing. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 29-yard line. The Fighting Irish come out in a 4-3. Back to pass. Throws it out there. Batted away. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Four-man front by the defense. Number nine drops back to pass. He passes it. Incomplete pass. That one should have been caught. Oh, man, that really irritates the quarterback. He did his job to get the ball there, and the receiver blew it by dropping it. Ball on the 29-yard line. It's fourth down, four yards to go. Number 14 lined up for the field goal, and he's going to need some distance on this one. The kick is up. And it splits the upright. Michigan State to kick. Number six and number 22, deep to receive. Number 14 kicks it off. Number 22 fields it at the two. First and ten. Going with the shotgun here. Drops back to pass. He unloads it. Complete. And they finally make the stop at the 25-yard line. 
And he delivered a nice pass there, Coach. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I like what this coach is doing here by opening up his playbook. It's going to have the defense calling for mercy soon. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25. Michigan State lines up defensively in a 4-3. Back to pass. Let's it go. Number three with a catch. Ball on the 15. Notre Dame lines up defensively in a 3-4. They'll run the option. Number nine is going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of seven. Ball on the eight. It's second down and a long ways to go. Notre Dame lines up defensively in a 4-3. Back to pass. Let's it fly. And it's caught. And he's finally taken down at the 48-yard line. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Boy, that's a big-time play. It's first and 10. The fighting Irish put four men up front. Number nine drops back. Throws it out there. Number two has it, and he delivered a nice pass there, Coach. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I like what this coach is doing here by opening up his playbook. Ball on the 19. It's first and 10. Notre Dame going with a three-man front. Number nine drops to throw. He lets it go. Incomplete. And he did a nice job breaking up that pass. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. Second and ten, ball on the 19-yard line. The Fighting Irish come out in a 4-3. Drops back to pass. Rifles it over the middle. Number eight hangs on to it. They get a good seven yards on that one. Third and two, ball on the 11. The Fighting Irish put four men up front. And he's tackled at the center. Good pickup on third down there, and that's going to keep the drive alive. First and ten, and do it again, my friend. The Fighting Irish come out in a 34 defense. And he's stopped behind the line. Loss of a yard.
Number eight lines up as a single back. Back to pass. He unloads it. Complete touchdown, Sparkson. Coach, how about that play? Yo, was that a sensational pass or what? I got to see that touchdown again. Yeah, Brad, this is really a good-looking throw by the quarterback and a nice catch, too. And we're definitely on the same page there. the PAT. <laughs> Michigan State to kick this one off. Number six and number 22, deep to the seat. He kicks it. Number six. Fields it in the end zone. Ball on the 18-yard line. It's first and ten. The Spartans use a four-man front here. First and ten. At the he drops back. He throws it. And it's caught, number 43, with a takedown at the 46-yard line. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big-time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender. First and 10, ball on their own 46. Michigan State lines up in a dime defense here. Drops back to pass. He passes it. He's got the first, and he's finally brought down at the 13. And he delivered a nice pass there, Coach. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I like what this coach is doing here by opening up his playbook. The Fighting Irish set up in the gun. It's a blitz. Throws it out there. Number five picks it off. And they turn it over right before the half. Well, this really hurts them here. They're trying to cut into that lead before they got into the showers for halftime. But unfortunately, this turnover will still leave them down as they get into the locker room. Ball on the 21-yard line. First and 10. Defense lines up in a 3-4. Drops back to pass. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. They're backed up eight yards on that play. Eight yards on the play. Second and long. Notre Dame comes out in a 4-3. Brought down at the 14-yard line. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on their own 14. They come out in a nickel. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Let's it fly. And it's incomplete. Well, he was under some heavy pressure there. Well, I agree there was a lot of pressure, but I think he can hold on to the ball just a little bit longer and deliver it with some confidence. Ball on their own 14. It's fourth down and a long ways to go. Number 22, back deep to return. Number 12 gets it off. Number 22 fields it at the 38. Ball on the 38. They use four linebackers. Drops back. Fires a bullet out to the right. Complete. And he's finally shoved out at the 37-yard line. We knew these receivers were fast and athletic, and they are not disappointing us. I think these guys are the difference makers in the game. I would expect to see the deep routes to keep coming and coming at this defense. Ball on the 37.
Defense lines up in a 4-3. Here comes the defense. He's on the run. He unloads it. And it's caught. Number 43 brings him down at the six-yard line. And he delivered a nice pass there, Coach. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I like what this coach is doing here by opening up his playbook. It's going to have the defense calling for mercy soon. Crowd in that line of scrimmage. Number 10 steps back to pass. Well, he was under some heavy pressure there. Well, I agree there was a lot of pressure, but I think he can hold on to the ball just a little bit longer and deliver it with some confidence. They put everyone up on the line. Drop back to pass. He lets it go. Number six drops the ball. Crowd in the line. Number 10, back to throw. He throws it. Number three makes the catch. How about that one, Lee? Brad, this is exactly what you love to see as a coach. Great communication between the quarterback and his receiver. And the results, six, a touchdown. on the extra point. Notre Dame lines up for the kickoff. Number two and number zero deep to return. Number 13 kicks it off. Number 23 fields it in the end zone. Ball on their own 21. It's first and 10. They line up in an eye. Steps back to pass. He passes it. First down. Number 42 with a takedown at the 36 yard line. Timeout and called by the offense. Ball on their own 36. It's first and 10. Number nine drops to throw. Throws it out there. And it falls incomplete. Well, he was under some heavy pressure there. Well, I agree there was a lot of pressure, but I think he can hold on to the ball just a little bit longer and deliver it with some confidence. Ball on the 36. Second and 10. 4-3 defense. There's a play fake. He's scrambling. He unloads it. And it's caught. Number five brings him down at the 42. Takes it on down three yards. Ball on the 42-yard line. Michigan State comes out with an eye formation. Back to pass. He fires left side. Number 13 with a catch. He finally goes down at the 16-yard line. They're inside the 20. They'll call on the field goal unit here. It's up. And it sails through the upright. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, Michigan State 27, Notre Dame 14. Second half.
half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. Here's the kick. Number six fields it in the end zone. First and ten. Michigan State lines up in a dime defense here. Number 10, back to throw. He's going long. He's got the first. Number 37 with a takedown at the 45-yard line. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And they ran it to perfection. Ball on the 45. Notre Dame comes out in the shotgun, drops to throw. Number 10 is going to be sacked for a loss. There's a 10-yard loss. Ball on the 45. It's second down and a long ways to go. They'll line up in a double-wing set. Drops to throw. Let's it go. Number five, bats it down. And that one got knocked away. Hey, if you can't get the interception, just knock it down. Nice job there, guy. Third down and long coming up here. They'll bring in their dime package. Number 10, off the fake. Heaves a long one down the middle. Complete, and they finally bring him down at the 14. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad, and that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. It's first and ten, ball on the 14-yard line. The Fighting Irish with a full house backfield. They're coming. And down he goes at the 10. Well, they worked hard for those yards, Coach. Yeah, Brad, this kid is a hard-nosed player. He gives that kind of effort every single play. Michigan State lines up defensively in a 4-3. He's taken down at the six-yard line. A pickup of four on the play. They put everyone up on the line. Drop down at the four. Just a yard there. Crowd the line. And he's got the touchdown. Kirk, that was a nice touchdown. Yeah, it was excellent blocking here and a nice job of the ball carrier to get in there for the touchdown. Ready to kick this one off. Number 23 and number two back deep to return. He kicks it. Number 23 fields it in the end zone. It's first and ten. Ten. 
Six DBs in the lineup. And they make the stop at the 33. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, the defense starts to creep up a little bit. Ball on the 33. The Spartans come out in the ace formation. Number 33 brings him down at the 36-yard line. And he picked up decent yardage on that one before they could drag him down. Yeah, that wasn't a bad little run there. Second and six. The Spartans go with the I formation. Run the option. They'll bring him down at the 39-yard line. They didn't really have a chance on that play. Boy, guys, how about the defense on this play? They sniffed that play out from the start. Ball on the 39. Third down and three coming up. Notre Dame comes out at a 4-3. First down, and they make the stop at the 48-yard line. Good pickup on that run. You know what made this play so successful was the vision of the ball carrier. Nice job of reading his blocks. Ball on the 48. The Spartans line up in an eye formation. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. Seven-yard play. Ball on the 45. Second and two. The Spartans come out in the ace formation. Drops back. He passes it. It falls incomplete. Well, he was under some heavy pressure there. Third and two. The Fighting Irish come out in a 4-3. He's got the first. Number 33 with a takedown at the 36. Gain of nine. Ball on the 36. First and ten. The Fighting Irish line up in a nickel back. Number 50 brings him down at the 34-yard line. That'll be a pickup of a yard. Ninth play of this drive coming up. Notre Dame lines up defensively in a 4-3. Blitz is on. Tackle at the 32-yard line. They'll get two on that one. It's third down and six to go. Michigan State lines up in a shotgun set. Back to throw. Rifles it right side. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He just let that one slip out of his hand. Oh, he can't take his eyes off the ball. It looks like that's what happened. Ball on the 32-yard line. Fourth down and six. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The kick is up. And he didn't get all of it. It falls short. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Michigan State 27, Notre Dame 21. Ball on their own 32. Notre Dame lines up in the double wing. Number 36 gets a pitch. It's picked up. And so they'll turn the ball over on the fumble. Yeah, the ball carrier just didn't do a good job of protecting the ball. This defense took advantage of it. First and ten. One man backfield. Gets past the tackler. Number five with a takedown at the 19-yard line. That was a nice run. Boy, he did a nice job of keeping his feet moving. Good, solid run. Let's look at that one again. Here 
there inside the 20. The Fighting Irish use a four-man front here. Number five brings him down at the 19-yard line. Nothing going on that one. Ball on the 19-yard line. Notre Dame comes out in a 4-3. Number 33 tackles him for a loss on the play. And they're going the wrong way, Coach. Hey, Brad, if you don't have offensive balance, you can't keep the defense off of you. Ball on the 24. The Fighting Irish line up with six defensive backs. Number zero gets the ball. No, they faked it. He scrambled. Number nine is going to be sacked for a loss. Fourth and long. Ball on the 28. Number 14 comes in to kick the field goal. He's going to have to get a leg into this one. He gets it up. Let's take another look at the kick. Ball on the 28. First and 10. Notre Dame lines up in a pro set. Number 10, back to throw. He throws it. And it's caught. And down he goes at the 46. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big-time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass. Ball on the 46. Four three defense. Back to pass. He unloads it. Complete, and he's taken down at the four. They put everyone up on the line. Number 10, options out. And they make the stop at the two. They'll get two on that one. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Touchdown, fighting Irish. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herb Street. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. kickoff number two and number zero back to return number 13 kicks it off number 23 fields it in the end zone first and ten ball on their own 21 The Fighting Irish come out in a 4-3. And down he goes at the 24. They get three yards on the play. Second and six. Notre Dame brings in the nickel here. Number five with a takedown at the 31. Picked up the first down on that carry. Yeah, good job up front by the offensive line. They picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage. Ball on their own 31. The Fighting Irish come out in a 34 defense. He drops back. He's looking for his man. And it's 
caught, and they finally make the stop at the 43-yard line. And he delivered a nice pass there, Coach. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I like what this coach is doing here by opening up his playbook. First and ten. The fighting Irish line up with a three-man front. Back to throw. He passes it. And it's incomplete. He had it, but he couldn't hang on to it. You know, there's really no excuse for that either. He needs to make that catch, Coach. I agree 100% with you. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Spartans come out of the ace formation. Drop back. He throws it. Incomplete pass. Man, he had to get rid of that ball in a hurry. You know, it seems like he's allowing the defense right now to control him by throwing bad passes under pressure. You know, in college football, the clock is stopped when the chains are moved on first down conversions. High formation here. Back to pass. Chucks it deep down the right side. And it falls incomplete. I think he really needed to make that catch. Well, that pass was thrown right on the money, and it should have been caught. The quarterback's going to be furious because now, now it's fourth down. Fourth down and ten. The Spartans line up in an eye formation. Back to throw. Let's it fly. Incomplete. The defense stopped them. That fourth down play was very important as far as the big Mo is concerned. Now they have momentum on their side. Go for it. Ball on the 43-yard line. It's first and 10. Michigan State comes out of the 4-3. Number 43 brings him down at the 45-yard line. The defense takes a timeout. Second and seven. The Fighting Irish go with the eye formation. Second and seven. <laughs> Number 75 with a takedown at the 46. The defense takes a timeout. Third down and seven. Ball on the 46-yard line. Number 22 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Timeouts called by the defense on the play. Fourth down now, seven yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Number 82, awaiting the return. <clears throat> Number 17, gets it off. Number 82, fields it at the 18. It's first and 10, ball on the 18-yard line. Michigan State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Number nine, back to pass. He unloads it, complete. Number 33, brings him down at the 46. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play, and they ran it to perfection. Ball on the 46. Defense lines up in a 4-3. Drops back to pass. He passes it. First down. Number 42 with a takedown at the 17. We knew these receivers were fast and athletic, and they are not disappointing us. I think these guys are the difference makers in the game. Ball on the 17. First and 10. They use four linebackers. Drops back to pass. Guns it across the middle. Number 33 brings him down at the five-yard line. He got up in the air and made the catch. Well, oh, that's all about timing, too, because if he jumped too early, he wouldn't have been able to catch that ball. They're crossing the line. Number nine drops back to pass. A four-yard loss. The defense takes a timeout. They're going to go for the easy three here. The kick is up. And it sails through the upright.
Michigan State to kick this one off. Number six and number 22 back ready to return. Here's the kick. Number 22 fields it at the seven. Breaks the tackle. Ball on the 35. It's first and 10. Six DBs in the lineup. Number 10 drops back to pass. He throws it. He's got the first. Number 43 with a takedown at the 21 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 21 yard line. They'll call on the field goal unit here. The kick is up. And it is good. the end of the ball game. Girk, what'd you think of this one? Well, this one really could have gone either way.